This year marks a hundred years of Nana Yasantwa, the warrior queen, the politician, the farmer, the woman who fought for the golden stool. Now, whilst the Brits were in Ghana trying to take our golden stool, they had put King Prempe into prison. And there was this uh, uh, one man who was uh, Mr. Hodgson. Frederick Hudson, who sat on the golden stool. And then I asked Antoine to believe that. No. We believe that the golden stool came from above. And nobody can sit on our golden stool. Nobody can try and take away our golden stool from us. So she went into the, the palace and she said to the chiefs, who were scared at the time because they thought that if they have taken King Prempe away, what are we going to do? How are we going to fight? And this woman stood and said, if you, the men of Asante, will not fight, we, the women, will. And for us, she led our independence. She's part of that story. You know, if Nana Yasantua was born in the UK, US, or outside of Ghana, she would be popular than she is here in Ghana. So we wanted to throw a spotlight on this amazing woman. The Guba Awards this year is Nana Yasantua, a symbol of courage and resilience. Which when you look at the women around Ghana and Africa, they are all women of resilience and courage. And so we wanted to celebrate this amazing symbol of a woman. Now if you look at Ghana as a whole, a lot of women have the spirit of Yasantua. When we talk about gender equality, we want to create an economic livelihood for women. Women are the backbone. When you talk about entrepreneurship, we realize when the survey was done, a lot of women had the majority when it comes to entrepreneurship. And so we wanted to celebrate him in a big way. Yesterday, the 17th of October, marked the day of her death. That was 100 years. And for me, we haven't seen enough publicity from the media houses, from corporate Ghana, from the public sector. We need to celebrate her for what she did and what she stood up for. She stood up for Mother Ghana. Because of her, other African countries were able to gain independence. And so what are we doing? Apart from the awards, I want the media houses, I want the celebrities, let's post her. Let's, let's post people who represent a Yasantua to you. This year we are celebrating all women because of the Yasantua story. We are celebrating women from market women. We have women from uh, Ma uh, Adum, Adum, Adum Market and Kedetia. Kedetia Market, who are we are honoring? Adum, Adum. Adum, Adum Market. A do market and um, Kedetia. Why is that important? These women are the women that feed us each and every day. Without the women in the market, how do we get food? And when you look at these women, they wake up 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning, get their children ready for school, and then go to the market to serve us. And so we want to honor those type of people. We are also honoring people who are at the top. So the Vice President of Costa Rica is coming in attendance and we are honoring her. We are honoring Ifwa Hirsch. She's, a, uh, she's half Ghanaian and half uh, German. She is a writer for The Guardian and has gotten to a level um, that she is now. There are other women that we are honoring that are going to be in attendance on the night. Ngozi, the uh, Director General from WTO, World Trade Organization. We are honoring her. We are honoring, let me just mention a few of the names. Ellen Salif Johnson. We are honoring. Uh, bear with me one second. We are honoring Diane Abbott, uh, MP Diane Abbott. She's in the UK. And we have four, three other MPs joining her at this year's Guba Awards. We have a performer, which we're going to announce later on, but we have Anjali Pujo coming to Ghana to perform at this event. We have Bozema St. John, 
We have other confirmed guests as the first lady um, of Ghana. We have the second lady. We have um, uh, what's it called? The Ashanti kids. So it's two days. Guba Awards is going to be two day events. The first day is going to be in Kumasi uh, at Mencia Guba. The Ashanti kids. The two four. So he's going to dis display a derba, a cultural derba for all the guests who are coming. He's also going to give out some awards to some of the guests, the awardees. And then on the 8th, we do the rest of the awards in Accra at the conference center door. That's where we'll be holding the event. And so we urge every Ghanaian and every African who's watching this, let's celebrate this great woman, Nana Yasantua, in a big way. Because as I said, I mentioned before, Look, we had an Anansi, but the outside world has taken Spider-Man onto a different level. Right now, we should have a movie based on Nana Yasato. We should. We should have children's books on Nana Yasato. 